Hi everyone, this is Laura Larsen Organizing and in today's video I want to give you some questions that help you sorting out your closet. You've taken the heart and the courage to clean out your closet and now you're standing in front of a huge pile of clothes because you just dumped out your closet and now you're taking each item in your hand after each other and you ask yourself, does this piece of clothes make me happy? Some of these items will come very easy to you because it's your favorite piece of clothing. And there are some other piece of clothing that will also come really easy to you because you absolutely hate it. What is with the one piece of clothing where your gut doesn't tell you really anything like do I like it or do I don't like it? What is just with a difficult piece of clothing? And when I work with my clients, I have a few questions that I really love that I ask them that actually help them to go through the piece of clothing that seems difficult to decide for them because they can't really trust their feelings. So what I want to present you today is these my five favorite questions that I help clients with when they have problems sorting out their clothes. Number one is, how often do you wear it and when was the last time you wore it? Super easy question, but super effective because the answer to the question, when was the last time that you're wearing it or how often you wear it, gives you a hint already if you like the item or not. Because, surprise, items that we don't wear very often or that it's a very long time ago that we last time wore it, are probably the ones that we don't like that much. So, if you're having um, an item in your hand that you weren't wearing for a really long time or even can't remember when was the last time and you don't wear it generally very often, this could be a hint for the fact that you don't like the item and you should discard it. Second question is, when are you going to wear it the next time and are you excited about wearing it the next time? So when the answer to the previous question already has been, I don't remember when I was last wore it and I don't wear it very often, then maybe this question could help you. Like, when do I want to wear this item next? Maybe you just forgot about it in your closet, but you're super excited to when the next day warm day has come to wear this t-shirt or something. So, and if the answer is you can't imagine a moment or an occasion where you're going to wear this item next, then you have your answer, discard it. But maybe there's also this item where you think like, oh, mm, this like super tight jeans that I have, I could wear it to the next birthday party that I'm invited to. But when you actually think about it, going to this party and being invited and like having a fun evening and then you think about this like super damn tight jeans are you really excited about wearing this or if when the birthday party actually comes you're gonna grab your favorite pair of jeans because the other ones are super damn tight so not just think about a moment where you could wear it next time also think about it are you excited about wearing it next time and if the answer to both is no this could also be a hint that you don't like this item Third question is, would you buy this item again today? And I really love this question because so often we just collect so many pieces of clothes and gather so many things that they are just there and we don't question them anymore. If like, we love them or just don't like them, we just have them, they're there. But this question, like, would I spend my actual money to buy this piece of item again, can give you a hint about if you really love this item, you love it so much that you should would pay money again to have it, or if you think like, oh, if I have to buy it again, then probably I wouldn't keep it or I wouldn't buy it again. And I think that we just should surround ourselves with things that we love so much that we should, would buy it every day again. And just to calm you down, it's a theoretical question. Obviously, no one would pay money to buy your closet, all items of your closet every day again. But it's just a nice theoretical question like, would I pay money again to have it? Question four is, if this piece of clothing gets ruined, if it has a stain or if it's broken or something, would you pay money and your time to fix it? And it's similar to the question before, but slightly different, because it asks yourself, do you love it so much that you would actually spend your time to get it fixed by sewing it on your own or bringing it to a tailor? Or would you bring it to a dry cleaner to actually fix it? Or if you say like, ah, if it's a hole, then I'm probably gonna discard it because this can also be a sign that it's just not your favorite piece of item because we all know this few pieces that we have that we just love so much and we have for so many years that we would do anything to just keep it. 
Last but not least, question number five. What are you actually afraid of? I really like the question because it goes just a step deeper into what's actually the problem. Is it about the piece of clothing or is it something else that's actually hindering you to make this decision if you want to keep it or not? Is this piece of clothing maybe a gift and you're afraid to discard it because you're insecure about the relationship or if you can throw away a gift? And if that's the case, then I encourage you to watch my video about what to do with gifts, also here on the YouTube channel. And just to give you a spoiler ahead, yes, you're allowed to get rid of gifts when they don't make you happy. So I really encourage you to just go with this last question one step further, what's actually behind of it? What are you actually afraid of? And whatever this answer is for you to really solve this issue first, because if you solve that issue, the question of the sweater is not even a problem anymore. And I have one last tip for you regarding this last question. So if you just start your tidying journey and clothes are your first category that you're sorting out and you're organizing, if you conquer a piece of clothing that is actually more something sentimental for you than an actual just piece of clothing, it's okay to move this item back till you hit the category of organizing through your total sentimentals. Because you're just starting out with your tidying journey, you just ask yourself for the first time, does an item spark joy to me? Does an item make me happy? And this question can be really hard in the beginning because we're just not used to ask ourselves this question. So if an item is somehow a sentimental memory for you, has a sentimental value, just put this item aside organize through your closet, organize through the rest of your apartment, and in the end, take it out, because you will realize that after organizing through everything that you own, this piece of clothing, when you come into the sentimental category, will be way easier to decide. All right, these were all the questions. I hope there were some for you that might help you when you sort through your clothes. And if you have any more questions, um, just feel free to leave me a comment or go to my website and contact me, reach out. I'm happy to answer them. Until then, happy organizing.